Welcome to a quick tour of Hollis Plus. We want to save you time and make your life easier. Smarter use of Hollis Plus means better papers and assignments, finished faster, which means more time for binge watching television shows. I'll move along fast, so feel free to pause, try out one of the strategies, or return to the video later. We'll go through when and how to use Hollis Plus, how to use search words, basic and advanced searching, working with search results, and reading a Hollis Plus record. So, what is Hollis Plus? Hollis Plus is a way to search multiple resources together. Hollis Plus simultaneously searches through the Harvard collection of books, journals, images, maps, archives, scores, music, videos, and data, while also searching through many of the article databases that Harvard Library subscribes to. Hollis Plus doesn't search everything, as some specialized databases are not included in Hollis Plus. Other databases also have unique and specialized searching options, like searching by historical period and historical abstracts. So you might have to leave Hollis Plus and also use a database more specific to your field of study. But because Hollis Plus searches multiple databases at the same time, Hollis Plus provides broad coverage from various disciplines. This is also why Hollis Plus will potentially have millions of results, and you do have to be smart about how you search. Most importantly, you want to sign in to Hollis Plus. If you see the reminder, you aren't signed in. Signing in makes sure you have complete access to articles. You could know all there is to know about Hollis Plus, but if you aren't thoughtful about your search words, you could run into trouble. Hollis Plus is not a mind reader and doesn't magically determine your topic and the best results. Hollis Plus takes things pretty literally. What you type is what you get. So brainstorm your topic. Think of what interests you the most. If you're spending time on your work, you might as well make it interesting and learn some cool stuff along the way. Think about synonyms, related terms, and broader and narrower areas of your topic. Then use some database tricks. If you have a phrase, like early childhood education, put those words in quotation marks and find results with those words in that exact order. Use the search operators, AND OR, when combining ideas. Use AND in all caps to limit the search results to include both concepts. For example, global warming AND Greenland. Or use OR in all caps to increase the search results to include either OR of the concepts. For example, global warming OR climate change. You can put the OR words in parentheses to group related terms and then add more search words. Lastly, use truncation to find multiple word variations. Putting an asterisk, shift 8, after the last letter where the word could change. Like technologe, to bring back search results with the words technology, technologies, technological. So, let's move on to basic and advanced searching. You can simply dive right in and use the Hollis Plus search box on the Harvard Library homepage to get started. Or you could click on the advanced search to use the advanced options. If you have a very specific and focused topic, you can probably get away with a basic search. For example, you've used our previous tricks and have a search that looks like this. Human rights or race relations and South Africa and protests. If you have a general topic that is in need of focusing, you might want to use some advanced options. For example, maybe you are researching race relations but don't have a more specific focus. An advanced search option that occurs before the search is the search field you choose. By default, words are searched by keyword anywhere. This is the more typical way, but in some cases you may want to look for your words in the title or in the subject headings if you wanted to limit your results, especially when you are trying to make your search results more relevant to your topic. Probably the second most important part of using Hollis Plus, the first being your search words, is working with your results, especially from a basic keyword search. Look at the results and think about what you are finding. What useful words appear that you didn't use as search words? What kind of results are coming back? Books, articles, newspapers? And why one more than the other? Some of the most common ways of working with your search results are using the filters, and the most common filters to point out are the options for peer review, online or in library, adjusting the date range of the results you find, selecting specific resource types, and selecting specific subject headings. Lastly, as you find results you want to further pursue, you need to know how to read the Hollis Plus record. By default, you land on the Details tab, where you see the title, author, and additional information. 
The summary, abstract or contents, is useful to quickly get a sense of what this source will be about. Also, look at the subject headings to get a sense of the major focus, click on them for similar results, or potentially use these as search words. To track it down, you will come across various options depending on the source. You might click on the View Online link for sources that are available online, or click on the Locations and Availability tab for sources that are in print, or click on a Find It at Harvard link for sources that are linked to elsewhere in Harvard's collection, or that Harvard possibly doesn't have and will lead you to get its services to request. This was promised to be a quick tour, so I think it's time to go. I have to go binge watch Game of Thrones now, and so can you. Once you start using Hollis Plus in a smarter way, with more expertise, and saving yourself time. I hope this video helped you get there. Good luck, and remember that you can always ask librarians for help. That's why we are here.